From the Orange River region, South Africa, we have um, quartz, a little family of quartzes with some hematite trapped inside, going red to grey in this case. I'll just turn him over. What I like about this little guy is the phantoming. Lovely phantoming in this guy. I'll move him around like that. Move him over like that. There's a... Now, now what would have happened here, there would have been a quartz crystal, which uh, got covered with girthite. In the olden days, the guys used to use it uh, for color pigment, uh, uh, what do they call it, uh, uh, the, the residue of the eye and the red. And then uh, a second generation of quartz would have uh, formed over this, uh, giving it this clear cap. So, as a result, you can actually see the the lovely phantoms in the sky. This is all from the general region of the Orange River, which borders between uh, Namibia and South Africa. Partially, it, it runs for over 2,000 kilometers, so it's not just the border between those two countries. Where the guys, the guys are mining uh, both sides. I, I usually say South Africa it could very well be from the Namibian side too. Hematite quartz. Oh, they called it the red uh, ochre, I think. Ochre was the word for it. And that would have been, of course, uh, on top of the first generation of quartz, and then a second generation. So nature repeated itself in this one and, and protected the ochre from further use.